Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm out hunting with James today and we're in a new park that we haven't hunted before. And check out what James just popped out. He just got a 1909 Barber half and he's still getting a signal in the hole. So probably another silver in there with it. How's it reading the other one? Oh, let's see. I'm getting 88. What's that on your machine? Silver? About silver a half, yeah. Cool. All right, guys, I'm going to turn the camera off and give him time to dig it out of there. And if it turns out to be another coin, I'll, I'll turn it back on and show it to you. All right, so James kept digging, and oddly enough, it was a clad quarter and a clad dime in the hole with a barber half. But man, look at that. That is awesome. Might, might have a mint mark on it there. Anyway, we'll get it cleaned up and... Uh, Give you a better look at it but congratulations man that's a Thank killer you, phone appreciate that all right just dug what looks like a little tootsie toy car still see some of the paint on it there red white and blue we'll get that cleaned up that might be something neat Eight forty-five, six inches. Eighteen forty-six, six inches. That's what I believe is going to be a silver dime. At least that's what it's reading like. In the plug. Yep, silver dime. Mercury. Sixteen forty seven at six inches. One forty four six inches. Eleven forty six six inches. It's definitely got that silver sound to it. Could even be a quarter. Twelve forty five and now that's out of the hole. Oh, it's silver, look at there. Yep. The silver rosy. Of course I can't see the date. All right, James just got another one. It looks like a Merc this time. What year did you say it was? Uh, 42. All right. Congrats, man. Thank you, sir. Well, James is wearing me out. He just got another one. 41 Merc. All right, how deep was it? Uh, how about three or four inches? Wasn't that bad. All right. Oh seven forty eight at four inches. Eleven forty seven four inches. Uh, there we 
we go. It's going to be a ring. Looks like silver. Pretty sure that's going to be silver. Yep. Get it cleaned up and see if there's a mark in there and uh, put up a picture for you. I'll take that. Ten thirty-five, five inches. Oh seven thirty-five, six inches. That's in the Indian range. Well, there's a silver. It's more than really thin, so I guess that's why it was reading so low. That could be old. I'm not going to rub on it too much. Of course, it looks like it's completely worn out. Anyway, give me a, give me just a minute, and I'll see if I can get an ID on it and show it to you. Well, guys, I still have no idea what this is. It's paper thin. And the hole that was punched in it seems to have been done with a square nail. I think it's definitely silver. So this possibility is Spanish silver. I'm going to go home and uh, see if I can get anything off of it. But you never know. That could be my first Spanish silver. This one's reading more in the Indian range. Just like the uh, really thin silver was. A little bit deeper, maybe. It's deep, whatever it is. feel it. It's definitely not a coin. That is an old spoon. I mean, that looks old. That thing was all the way at the bottom of the hole. This pin pointer is about nine inches. That thing was easily nine, nine and a half, ten inches deep. Yep, that's an old one there. So 
0146, about six inches deep. That's a uh, that's a little ring. Fold it up. All right, we got a twelve forty six, twelve forty seven at six inches. Now normally this would be a good a good silver tone, but for whatever reason James and I have been digging copper pennies that are reading about two notches too high. But we'll give it a look anyway. Yep. At least it's one of the better signals I've had today. Reading the 1346 out of the ground. Oh, it's silver. It's definitely silver. Ah, it's just going to be a silver rosy. I'll take it, though. Yeah, I'll take it. Hoping for something a little bit older. Just got a 12-12 signal right there and at about four inches. Just popped out of Buffalo. I can't see the date on it right now, but we'll check that out later. What's the year on it there? 1902. Let's see if I can get it to focus. James just got this one. Looks like it was only about what? Three four, or four three inches. Three or four inches? Mm -hmm. Not very far. 1902 Barber Dime. Nice job, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Twelve thirty-four at six inches. That's in the Indian range. Holy crap, there's a mini ball. Yeah, that's a, uh, it's like a three ringer. James, mini ball. Well, that's odd. got a penny signal right there and about five inches deep I got another one of those aluminum rings 
Looks like this one's got an anchor on it. I don't know if you can see that. Oh eight thirty seven six inches. Oh nine thirty eight six inches. That could be another mini ball. Not sure what that is, but it looks like it's got a cross set of cannons on it. I don't know, let me get this cleaned up and we'll take a look. Eleven forty five. 11.45, 5 inches. Got a nice silver tone to it. Forty six, five inches. Yeah, I see a silver there. That's another silver rosy. Yeah, who knows what the date is, but there we go, I'll take it. James is coming behind me here, getting the ones I missed. He got a he got a signal right next to where I dug a plug there, and just popped out a Merc. Can you see a date on it yet? No. Let me look. That's me, all right. We'll we'll get a picture of it and show it to you. But yeah. good job, man. Thank you, sir. Fourteen forty-five. 14.45, 5 inches. Possibly a silver dime. Oh, yeah. I think this one's going to be silver. Yeah. That is definitely a silver. Another rosy, but I'll take it. All right. Fifteen forty six. 
circle 145, six inches deep. Whatever it is, it seems pretty deep. A little bit deeper. There's a target. It's like a button. That might be a military button. Six thirty one at about six inches. A little depth to it. And it looks like a rim fire cartridge. Yeah, that's an old one there. Probably Civil War era. Eighteen thirty-eight, seven inches. It's got some depth to it, so we'll give this one a look. Could be a mini ball. What in the world is that? Oh, that's some of that uh, aluminum play money. That's why it sounded so deep. James just got this neat little padlock. It's shaped like a heart. Looks like it's got some age to it. How deep was that one? That uh, was a good five inches. Yeah. Got a few years on it. That's, that's pretty like neat. Quarter. All right. That's a good one, man. Thanks. Hey, man, it's those cool little finds, you know? Yeah. Thank you, sir. 0346. 1147, seven inches. That's a nice, deep, high tone. Could be a silver.
we're down to it. Is that the target? No. Whatever it is, it is down there. Deep. Something small. Okay, I don't know what that one was. I'm giving up on it though. Oh! Look at that! Of the Silver Washington, what's the year on that one? It's like a 48. All right, congrats, nice. man. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, let's do a quick wrap up. We'll start with James's finds. He's already threw most of his trash items away. I didn't show this on camera, but this was a really neat find. This is an old 1880s hunting buckle. And it's, it's kind of hard to see it right now, but it's got a dog on there. I'll put up a picture on the screen so you can get a better look at it. There's the heart lock. There's all of his clad and all of his silver. He ended up with a total of eight silvers. And of course, he started the hunt off with a big barber half. 1909. Let's see, you got five Mercuries, one barber, a Washington, and the barber half. Okay, here is a... Uh, some of my junk finds. I've thrown some of mine away too. There's all of my clad. Just some random doodads there. That's the old spoon that was about a foot deep. The old gas valve. A Tootsie toy. A uh, mini ball. There's a great seal button and I think this is a collar disc from around the same same time frame as the great seal button. Uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wheat pennies, two buffalo nickels, and I'm not sure what this is. I think it's a cut coin or something. I don't know. Ended up with eight silvers. We combined for 16 silvers total. I got a Washington, uh, four Roosevelt's, one Mercury, and this thing here. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm thinking that could be a Spanish silver, but I don't know. I guess we'll never know. There's no way to prove it. Look how thin that thing is. And let's see, I got the uh, sterling ring and two junk rings. All in all, a pretty good hunt. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.